Hey everybody, I'm going to be walking you through a couple of steps for a couple of science experiments. They are going to require a couple of ingredients that you hopefully have at home. If you don't, um, you can watch this video and get um, to see it in action. And then maybe the next time you guys are able to safely get out of the house and go to the store, you could pick up some of these basic ingredients. It's just food dye, milk, and some Dawn dish soap. And then we'll also use the food dye and um, some paper towels in a second experiment. So the first one we're going to do is color changing milk. And if you haven't seen it before, it is a really cool experiment um, and fairly simple one to set up. So the first thing you're going to need is going to be some whole milk. Um, I've tried this with other types of milk before and unfortunately it doesn't work as well. I'll explain more about the science of it later. Um, so you just need some whole milk and you're going to pour it into your plate. And then you're going to need some of the liquid food dye. Um, unfortunately I only have, I don't even think I have any red, um, some yellow. So we're going to start with yellow and then the food dye that I have is this gel food dye, so I added it to some water to see how that works in our experiment today. All right, so I was able to get some of the liquid, uh, or I'm sorry, not the liquid, but the gel um, food dye in there. I did mix it with some water and tried it out with that, and it did work um, fairly well, just worked a little bit better when I was able to get some of the um, darker color. In there so if you have the liquid food dye that's obviously going to be your best bet of what you want to use because it's easy to just drop straight in you have that high concentrated color there so you're just going to want to kind of spread it around try not to mix the colors here at first um, if you watch the video they actually did um, four separate dots I'm kind of got mine all over the place right now um, the next step of what you're going to be doing is you're going to take your uh, liquid dish soap and you're just going to put some on top of a Q-tip here. So you're going to have um, your Q-tip with your Dawn dish soap on it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come to your plate and I'm going to actually add a little bit more dish soap to my Q-tip so that it is really got a good bit of soap on top. And then what you're going to do is you're going to simply take your Q-tip with the soap end and watch what happens. If you find it starts slowing down, put some Dish soap on the other side of your Q-tip. And try touching some of the spots that you haven't touched yet. So it's pretty cool, huh? Um, I'm going to add this template here that you can use on Seesaw or you can print out and um, write the conclusion, your hypothesis, all that on there so you can follow the scientific method, um, as well as talk about why it works. I linked the Steve Spangler video um, to Seesaw just a little bit ago, and at the bottom of that it talks about how it works. And basically why we want to use the whole milk is because it has a higher fat content into it, and what's happening is um, the molecules inside of our soap are trying to um, break up that fat and what's happening is as it's trying to reach that fat it's pushing the water and the um, from the food dye out of the way if your reaction started to slow down kind of like mine did what that just means is that your soap molecules have um, become evenly mixed with your milk molecules so that's why the reaction eventually will slow down and then eventually stop working but the great thing about this project is you can try with different colors. If you have different colors, you could try mixing colors. Maybe you want to make an orange one. Maybe you want to make a green one. What colors could you use to mix those two colors together um, to create a, a masterpiece, really? And once you have one that you're proud of, once that you have one that you love and you want to share it with us, please do so. Put it on Seesaw, put it um, in an email, uh, take a picture of it, draw it, do whatever you need to do. If you're able to do this experiment, share with us and show us your awesome work. 